Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in Swordworks. So let's start. Before I start this tutorial, I highly recommend please check out free courses of Swordworks link in description. So let's start with this tutorial. So click on the insert components. Uh, just you know that I am in assembly mode, okay? So click on insert components, click on new part, select the front plane. Make sure that no external reference is checked on, else you will face a lot of problem. Now press Ctrl plus 8. After that, what you need to do is, uh, you need to draw square. Okay, so let's see how I am drawing the square. So click on here and draw the square as, as I am showing. So give the dimension as per the requirement. In my case, I am drawing a square of 400 by 400 mm. But you can make it any other square as per requirement, okay? And and I I also need a hole here, so let's create a circle. Uh, let's make it 10 mm, and the margin is 20 from here, and 20 from here, and go to the features. Now we are going to extrude it. Extrude 10 mm. Click OK. Okay. So this is the first part that we have created. Now similarly, we need to create another part. So or what we can do is exit the assembly component mode. Simply control and right click your mouse and drag this part. Okay. In that way we got this part and it's you know saves a lot of time so now what we have to do is now we have to do some mating and some sketch little bit after that we are good to go so first select the front plane click on reference plane click on plane give it a uh, distance of 10 mm click ok ok now select this reference plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 so i need to create some sketch some points basically so uh, before i draw the sketch uh, let's move this part upwards because i don't want that this point has any kind of reference to it so now click on sketch and simply draw the point here so it is 400 mm from here and it is in horizontal direction so by pressing control select these two point and make them horizontal okay so and exit the sketch mode so first thing we have to do is go to the mates select this point and this point click ok select this face and remember the plane that we have created and select this face make sure it is parallel click ok after that we have to create similarly something for this point uh, for this so what we are going to do is select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 now draw the point uh, now give it a dimension 800 by 800 mm sorry 800 by 400 mm 800 and the distance from here to here is 400 click ok exit the sketch mode now make sure you delete this one and select the point and this one click ok select this face and select the front plane make sure it is parallel click ok and ok after that select this face, press ctrl plus 8. So first thing I have to do is I have to align these two faces. So go to the mates, select this face and select this face. Uh, for the time being just make them coincident. Click ok and close it. And first thing make sure that you have to do is go to the mates, select this mate, press F2 and type temporary because I am going to delete it. Now select this face, press ctrl plus 8 
now i need to make something to basically rotate so for that click on here click on new part uh, select the front plane now select this state slot make sure when you make it no external reference is checked on else you will face a lot of problem uh, and remember that this is a common thing that most of my users ask why they are facing issues in assembly and motion because most of the time they don't check that their no external reference is checked on or not so make sure you don't do that mistake and give it a dimension as per the requirement in my case 20 mm is fine X escape and move this to point to here by pressing control and this point okay I forget that next reference I don't so so they don't coincide with each other so uh, press control Z for a second control Z uh, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Now, okay, this is fine. Now, first thing you have to do is let's the sketch defined by by the by here. Okay, so in that way, I will not do the mistake. Now, give it 20 mm. Don't worry, even if this change. Now, extrude it uh, to 5 mm. Click OK. Exit that is in component mode. Now first thing I have to do is I have to do mating for this part. So what I can do is go to the mates, select this face and this face. Make sure it's circular. Okay, concentric. Sorry. After that, again, select this face and this face, concentric, and click OK. Select this face and this face. Click OK. Now remember the temporary image simply right click on it and click on suppress. So if I try to do it, rotate it, you can see I got the design animation. But it's just a single door. But I want more. So what I can do? So for to do that, select the front plane for a second, press control plus eight. Now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use mirror command. So click on mirror components and select the right plane select this part this part and this part and click ok so i got two components but it is still not i am not happy with it let's create more so go here click on again with components but this time select the top plane now select these parts click ok so I got something like this now how to do animation so for two animation what I can do is uh, for a second just for a second select this face and select the top plane and make them parallel click ok and just you know it looks like it totally closed ok after that what we are going to do is right click on it and click on suppress now we are going to add animation so go to the motion study click on motor select this edge and it asking how uh, and we need to control what is the distance basically angle so how much angle you want to rotate so basically i want to rotate it 180 degree and it start at 0 second and its total time is 5 seconds click ok after that go here increase the fps for better results so that is fine for me move it down uh, select this face press ctrl plus 8 and click on calculate i don't know why it's uh, let me go to switch to motion study uh, sometimes what happened i personally faced that that animation doesn't show the correct results so let's try the motion analysis and click on calculate oh 
or right click on rotary motor at feature uh, just change to 90 degree maybe I'm doing mistake here and click on calculate okay I have to put the value of 90 degree instead of uh, I have put the 90 degree so sorry for bad that my, my bad my mistake so go to the appearances and what kind of appearance we are doing organic uh, wood basically because say door so select the door type as per uh, door material as per requirement I am very bad with that I don't know maybe this one looks good why is color not showing up it's showing but temporary for instance now for body it's working so i guess i have to choose for body hmm. polish but for body okay and for this one i have to one more so simply select this one and right click and select the face first i guess uh, and go here click on body uh, i think black color is good good for it click ok and right click on orientation click on disable just you know i can hide my mistakes i am not hide my mistakes because so that you know what kind of mistakes beginners can do so click on play here you can see so this is how you can make this awesome door mechanism i saw on internet basically pinterest uh, so i hope you learned something from this video if you want to learn about solveworks animation and motion analysis check out my course link in description you will learn a lot of things if you really want to learn how to do these kind of animations so thanks for watching and have a great day Namaste.